we were talking about before is you being such a great singer as well as such a great drummer. And maybe any advice or maybe you want to tell people about singing and playing. And well, you know, it's funny when I'm singing with Journey um, and I'm singing lead, actually the drums take a back seat and it's almost like I'm on autopilot. I just kind of cruise and do it. it. It comes naturally, but you've got to sing that stuff and you've got to find the places to breathe. When when to breathe, like some of the high notes are evil high, you know that. So you got to find that place to take that breath and be able to hit it right. And if you don't hit it right, man, you know, the, the fans will crucify you. They're really tough on you. So, uh, you know, I make sure that I've got it exactly right and, and, and try not to mess it up. What I learned from Neil when I first joined Bad English, longevity is the key in this business. And uh, learn every style. It's really important to learn every style of music because, you know, it, it, music changes so much and you want to be able to keep working. I've been fortunate to be in Journey now 13 years, so that's a huge thing. So I haven't really had to, you know, mess with a lot of stuff. I was a metal drummer in the beginning, so going from a metal background to, to, to playing more musically is um, something I had to learn, really. I had to learn. So I remember joining Bad English um, back when I was 23. They said, hey, look, get a bunch of Mickey Curry records, you know, get a Steve Gadd record. Listen to these guys. Analyze how they play. Listen to where they play because they play very colorfully. And I didn't understand colors. I mean, they know exactly, like you were saying earlier, what symbols to hit, what's going to be right for a ballad, and what's not, you know. And, and I did. I had to learn that. And it took me a little while, but I, I, I feel that I'm, I'm getting there. I, I still learn every day, obviously. But uh, longevity's key. Learn every style, definitely. You know, and always clean your room because mom and dad will not buy you drums and cymbals. This is Steve Toomey. We call him Scoob for short. It used to be Scuba Steve. Now it's just Scoob. So Where's this guy. Tony Benuto? And that's Ross Valerie. Oh, Look at him go. I'm going to all week. Um, this guy's an integral part of my drum sound. I mean, every night drums are tuned flawlessly. Uh, my in ears sound amazing. And when stuff breaks, man, this guy is on the case. I mean, last night we were playing, went right through the snare head. That's the first, third song? Third song. Third song. Right through the thing. He's like, choo, 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 choo. new snare up. It was awesome. It's awesome. fun. Yeah, so I'm very fortunate to have him as a tech and also extremely fortunate to have him as a friend. Thanks, buddy.